Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Roxanne, and on this channel, I have all sorts of nail content. Demos, hauls, how-tos, you name it. In this video, I'll be starting off my short nail series with a cute little poly gel set. If you're interested, then please, just keep watching. Hi, my babies. I hope you're having an amazing day or night. Whatever time may be, whenever you are catching this video. So as you guys can see, we are jumping right in. You guys, I did just take my cuticle pusher and I just went ahead and pushed back that epinicium just so I could expose any cuticle or dead skin that is laying underneath that area. Um, and then now that I have that pushed back, I am going in with my ball bit um, and I'm just going to begin to remove that cuticle um, or dead skin right from around the epinicium. Um, and then once I have this taken care of you guys, I do go in with another cuticle bit. Um, I can't remember the name of this bit you guys, but I will try to slow it down right here so you can see exactly what the bit looks like. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this bit to go around that epinicium area once again, just to lift up any dead skin that is laying around um, that area on the nail plate. Um, and then now that I have that taken care of, I'm just going to use my cylinder cuticle bit and I'm going to take care of buffing up or buffing that natural nail plate to make sure that the dead skin is removed from the natural nail plate and that we have a nice buffed area so we can go ahead and apply our base gel and our product. Now that that's taken care of, I'm going in with my straight edge nail clipper and I'm just going to clip her nails that are a little bit longer. Um, she is a new client of mine, so we are going to start from scratch on her natural nail journey. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, unfortunately, I did lose the footage of me adhering these nail tips to her natural nails, um, but I did use base gel to adhere these nail tips. Now I'm just going back in with my straight edge clipper and I'm just gonna clip these down to the length that she's wanting. She wanted a nice sporty length. Um, she works in administration, so she didn't really want anything um, too long as she stays on her laptop all day long. So we are just cutting these down to a nice sporty active length. Um, but once I have this taken care of, I do go ahead and file and shape the nails using my 180 grit hand file. Um, as you guys can see, I am taking the hand file above the nail um, to make sure that that nail tip is blended in with her natural nail plate. Um, once I have that taken care of, I will of course make sure that the free edge is nice and shaped. Um, she did want a square, so of course that is what we are working on. So I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch this. I'll be back in when it's time for the next step in the process. I'll hush, you watch. Thought I met you at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl you know just what you doing hey babe enjoying my content well if you are and you haven't already why don't you consider subscribing to my channel it's free you can leave me a like and also a comment down below and letting me know what you want to see next let's be forever tonight and i will let you make up your mind but i can't wait where you coming over let me be your sofa So my babies, as you guys saw, I did just take some isopropyl alcohol and my nail brush and I just swiped downward um, to cleanse the nails just to make sure that I didn't trap any dust or debris um, into those side walls or up in that epinicium area. Um, now that I have that taken care of you guys, I of course went ahead and applied 
uh, primer off camera. I did use Moravon's primer. Um, it does come with a primer and dehydrator set, um, the Moravon primer, but I only use the primer because as we all know, isopropyl alcohol also works as a dehydrator. So yeah, you guys, like I mentioned, I'm just applying this base gel to all five fingernails, um, and then I'm gonna allow her to cure for a full 60 seconds before going in with my first bead of poly gel. Uh, for this set, you guys, I used Puce by McCart. This is a really, really pretty nude. I think it's so beautiful for chocolate complected women. So yeah, um, you guys, I do have a little bit of a different technique when I go in to apply poly gel on shorter nails of this length. So I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch me work the product on these two nails and then I'll come back in and talk about my technique. I'll hush, you watch. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing get out of my control. Zip line into your timeline. Hey, that body don't lie. I didn't care for the hype, yeah. But when I saw you tonight, ooh, girl, you know just what you do. And I'll go a thousand miles to show you that I'm right for your love. Breaking next when you passing them by. Make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe. Let's be forever tonight. And I will let you make up your mind. But I can't wait. When you coming over, let me be your chauffeur. When you came through that door, yeah. So my babies, when I am applying poly gel to shorter nails, I tend to work backward, if you will. Um, if you guys will notice, I did apply the product right at the free edge, and now I am working that product backward up toward the eponychium area, and I'm gonna go ahead and just really manipulate that product and make sure that the shape is there. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about an apex with shorter nails. You don't have to worry about an apex with nails of, the, of this length, um, but I do wanna make sure that there is proper product coverage and that the shape that she's wanting is still there. Um, so that is how I like to work, you guys. I like to apply the bead to the very tip of the free edge and then work that product back. Um, and then if I have any excess product, I will go ahead and use the barrel of my brush to swipe the product off. Um, I believe I do that with this nail, so you guys will see that there is a little bit of excess product here. So I'm just gonna use the barrel of my brush or the stem of my brush to go ahead and remove that product. Um, and then once I have that taken care of, I of course will make sure that this nail or the product on this nail is the shape that we're going for before curing. So I just wanna tell you guys that this technique is a little bit different um, because the nails are shorter. So I really, really, really hope that that made sense. Um, I'll hush, I'll let you guys watch this one. I'll back in when it's time for the next step in the process.
So my babies, here are the nails now that the poly gel has been fully cured. Um, and she and I are just discussing options and what she wanted to get done. But yeah, you guys, now I'm just taking my 180 grit hand file and obviously I'm taking it over the nail because I wanna make sure that I smooth out any lumps or bumps that may have been created during the application process. Um, I'm also using the corner of my hand file to make sure that there is no dust or debris trapped underneath that free edge. Um, and then of course, I'm taking in the sides of the nail and just sharpening up that free edge as well, just to make sure that it is nice and crisp. Um, once I have this taken care of you guys, I will go ahead and buff the nail. Um, I did not use my e-file for this set, you guys. I just did not need to. So yeah, I'll hush. I'll let you guys watch me do a little hand filing and I'll be back in when it's time for the next step. I'll hush. You watch. So my babies, once I got done with this hand filing, I just wanted to see the nails. So I took my isopropyl alcohol and I went ahead and I cleansed the nail just so I can get a proper look. And I really did like the shape of these nails. So now I'm just gonna go back over these nails one more time, but this time I'm going over them with a buffing block just to make sure that they are nice and smooth. You guys do not kill me, but I did lose the footage of me applying gel polish and accent to these nails. But here is the final look, you guys. Um, my client was going to an all black affair, so she absolutely loved her nail set, and I love them for her, and I love doing them for her. And now I have a new client, you guys, which makes my heart happy. You guys, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know what it is you want to see next, and tell a friend to tell a friend, baby, because we are doing a short nail series, and I have much more up my sleeve. I love you guys so much. Until next time, y'all.